All right, gentlemen, Captain Pizzazz here. Good morning, good evening, good afternoon, wherever you are on the seas and on this rock. So, we've just been working on random shit for the car. Finally got life issues taken care of. I am not shackled. I am not oppressively shackled by the state any longer. So, winning. Fully reinstated as of Friday. Which is great. So, we won't go into too much detail about that. Let's just say we're going to have another MGTOW funeral. But this time it's... Well, it, it's, a, it's a relationship. But the paperwork will be the relationship with the state. And it's a big stack. Like, like a bird. So, it'll be great. So what I've been working on is random things. Here's one of the random things right here, gentlemen. If you can see, I fabbed up a trailer hitch. So I'm just getting some coats of paint on it. I can't, I got a whole bunch of spray bombs in the uh, cabinet over there. So I've just been whatever ones work, because some of them don't work. So I. Sprayed a couple coats of white on it, spraying a couple coats of clear or teal on it, and then uh, I'm gonna try and get some black onto it so then it'll hide underneath the car. I'm just trying to give it some protection from rust, rocks, all that good stuff. So, gotta have something to pull the sailboat. Hopefully, we get that in here. But that's another thing we have to work on again. So, as you can see, no station wagon in the bay, but Come to find out, we got screwed with the uh, cylinder head rebuild. We should have took it to a more reputable uh, machine shop. And like in the other video, I knew I should have grabbed the cylinder head off the other car. But it's a life le lesson, gentlemen. Can't get pissed about it. She's eating a lot of oil. I've been driving her around the past couple of days, letting the rings, compression rings and the oil rings seat in. And if those were bad, she wouldn't get any power and burn tons of oil and the smoke coming out of the exhaust. But it doesn't do that. It's got plenty, it's got great compression, all that stuff. But I'm still getting, it's still eating oil. There's no leaks. The engine is sealed completely. It's great. So the only other place where in, where oil could escape from the engine is the valve seals. And guess who did the valve seals? Yes, that less than reputable machine shop. So, I'll double check the compression before I tear her down. Today I'm going to spend the day taking the really nice cylinder head that I paid for four, over $400 to have rebuilt. I'll take that one off the parts car and have it ready. And then we'll pull the wagon back in. So just little, little uh, setbacks every day. Once we get it sorted out, it'll be good to go. I'm hoping. I'm going to check a few things and make sure, but, I mean, maybe the turbo is going bad and it's leaking. We'll see. I'll see where the uh, oil is at. Standing right under the ice boat. That, that red thing right there is my curling broom. Hey, eh? But anyway... So yeah, we won't be able to pull the boat in and get back to boaty things right right away just yet. But anyways, guys, maybe we'll do a little stoic minute here. Let me see what I got in our book. Do I have a page marked? All right. Yeah, let's do a MGTOW minute. Let's change this into a MGTOW minute. Three things to remember today. So anyways, guys, let's see. Marcus Aurelius has three things he wants you to remember today and every other day. 
matter. How tiny your share of it. Time, how brief and fleeting your allotment of it. Fate, how small a role you play in it. That is to say, remember how insignificant your possessions are, how little time you have to live, and how much of what happens is outside your control. The result of keeping these three watchwords on top of the mind, humility. Which is a lot, I've seen a lot of people need humility these days. But also, freedom and the ability to truly appreciate your life without taking it too seriously. Just like me, Captain Pizzazz. We all have problems, gentlemen, but try not to take life too seriously. That's what I'm trying to give you with these stoic readings. Those are the three things. Don't forget them. They are everything. And that's all that one was. That's a very short one. So if we can remember those three things today, let's try it. Let me try and apply it to my situation. Let's see. Uh, fate. That was one of them. My fate is to refix the car. Nothing I can do about it. I didn't break it. It's just fate that somebody else did it. So there's no sense. And we talked about anger before, gentlemen. Yes, I'm a bit upset about it, but I'm going to channel that energy into working on the car. So I'm going to go remove the cylinder head from the other car. I'm going to take the grease and I'm going to grease the top of the block and all the everything so it doesn't get rusty in there in case I need more parts. Because think ahead. And, you know, and I'm just going to plug on. And I'm hoping this swap takes about two days at the most. I have all brand new parts in the uh, wagon, so I should hopefully be able to reuse all of them. Hopefully we don't rip another cylinder head gasket. But anyways, guys, I want you to stay safe out there. Keep a clean, level head on your shoulders. And life is looking up for Captain Pizzazz, and it's great. So as always, like love and car love.